Oh, what's up, everybody? I'm Sir Phobos, and welcome back to our hardcore playthrough of Subnautica. All right, so we're gonna do oh, a little cave. This is kind of cool. What are you, weird chunk? Your nickel? And some more cave sulfur? Oops. I'm gonna drill this real quick. Uh, we are gonna do the next most dangerous thing we can do. <laughs> We're gonna try to hit up that precursor cache, or little precursor base, the little precursor area, uh, right next to the Ghost of the Leviathan, in only the prawn suit. I think that is the most prudent way to go about it. I think. I don't I don't know if it's the best idea or not. Now I don't know off the top of my head how much damage the uh the Ghost Leviathan does to uh the prawn suits. I know it's not all of the damage. Um I know the prawn suit takes the least amount of damage of all the vehicles from monsters. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we'll be pretty safe. I'm going to try to just hug the wall. Hopefully not, not draw his attention. And hopefully we can just sneak in there. Even though, uh, when we, uh, when we got stuck in there, with the Cyclops, he did come say hi quite a bit. Hey, little guy. How about UFO? How about you not bite me? And how about UFO? Alright, there he is. Oh, he's phasing in and out of walls. Whoosh. And we're just going to Spider-Man in. Nope, we're going to get stuck and bit. Alright. Good job. But we did it! We didn't, we didn't even get a Leviathan at all. Oh. Oh, it's just a warp gate? Oh, you know what doesn't work super well under or in air? The prawn suit. The jump jets. Well, this is a bummer. This is not what I wanted. Give it a little zots there to repair it up. Alright. And I can't even turn this one on. So this one is just connected to the stupid thermal plant or whatever. Is that all this is? What a disappointment. Okay. Well. That was certainly... Certainly worth the effort. Okay. I can't do anything with you. Ugh. Why why did you stand back up? Oh. Oh. That was terrifying. He was trying to come say hi. in the worst way possible. Is that the same one that's outside? I guess it could be. Oh, Subnautica, why do you do these things to me? Letting your ghost leviathan just phase through the air. No, it can't be. Just a separate Ghost Leviathan being a jerk? 
Do they just have ghost leviathans hiding in the walls? Ready to get you? Maybe is the answer. <laughs> Alright. So the next, the next step here is we're going to get back into the Cyclops. And we're going to go down the waterfall and continue our path in the Lost River. Come on. Spider-Man better. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab me! Thank you. Okay. Um, you know, there's no more crab squids. We're going to turn on those exterior lights and make it really unpleasant to see. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. Let's see if we can... So now that, it, now that we know what this area looks like, I think we can scoop by unmolested by the Ghost Leviathan. Or at least fairly unmolested. Because all we gotta do is basically hug this wall over here. And we should be okay. Yeah, those lights look awful. When are the external lights ever good? Like, look at that. It's way better. Nice and slow. I'm gonna dip back down. And it was right over here. Alright, around this tree. Yeah. Oof. Now, this used to be like a straight shot. Uh, I'm rubbing all up on that tree. <laughs> Come on. Like this, this path in the Lost River, uh, in the from the Blood Kelp Zone down here. It used to be like it just it was a straight shot down. And then there was a giant hole, and that led you to, like, the middle of the inactive lava zone. Which was pretty good, if you wanted to get down there. But that doesn't appear to be the case anymore. Very, very spooky. All right. What are we bumping into? Anything? Nothing? Okay. It's the sea dragon bones. There's the cove tree. I should go check that out. Well, there doesn't appear to be a ghost here, so maybe I can scan them bones. You gonna let me scan them bones? Yeah, I think you're gonna let me scan them bones. Engine powering Looking pretty good. Spooky bones. Get them spooky bones. It's much less intimidating uh, when he's just bones. <laughs> the sea dragon. 
All right, what is it? What's it say about them bones? Uh, deceased. Uh, something intact skeletal structure of a Leviathan, Leviathan class predator. There's clear evidence of a mascal of massive physical trauma to the head. The damage is so severe it was likely the cause of death. It must have occurred somewhere nearby. Damage is consistent with a high speed collision with a solid object. Something in the environment has helped to preserve these remains, but calcium decay suggests an approximate time of death of one thousand years ago. Bone growth suggests the creature was was in the egg laying stage of its life cycle. Yeah. Okay. And we know, of course, that uh, that sea dragon busted its head. Hey, buddy. Uh, not on the clove tree. On the uh, alien containment facility. And sank it. The precursor structure. That is, you know, the hardest thing we've ever encountered in the universe. <laughs> the secret dragon rammed its head into it so hard. Blew it up. All right. So Cove Tree still seems to be a safe zone, a safe space. I'm glad. <laughs> So I think we'll get our scan on in here. We'll get the uh, the ghost rays. We'll get the co tree. Engine powering down. And we'll keep poking around a little bit. Oh, oh, that bloom. That is painful to look at. Ugh. Oh God. Ghost Leviathan eggs. Real gross. And real glowy. Do not like. Come here, buddy. Let me scan you. You could just stay still a little bit. I just thank you. Oh, he's normal. Man, that is glowing right on me. What is that? Ugh. It's gonna give me a headache. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Move away from the direct glow. Let's see what's over here. Is this an alternate path in? I hope. away from the glow. Let's see what it says about the giant cove tree now. Uh, large, large. Ghost ray. Poisonous flesh? Oh. Inedible, okay. Uh, giant cove tree. Vast tree encounter in the deep cove. And the only one of its kind encounter on the planet. The tree is surrounded by rays, grazing on its pink outer leaves. Bark, a hardy, fast-growing bark, covers the outside of the tree. Minuscule organisms inhabit the notches in the surface. Ghost leviathan eggs. The tree's branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs belonging to the species designated ghost leviathan. The tree appears to be an ancient nesting ground. The eggs were laid when the tree was young, and now the branches protect and grow with them as they await the right conditions to hatch. Huh. <laughs> Gross. So, I think back in that that zone, that that chamber, there's an offshoot that leads to the alien containment facility cuz I think this is the way down further. Or 
there's a precursor base down here too that we haven't found. Like things are things are familiar, but they're also a little different. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the way down down there. All right, so let's let's double back. Let's see if we can't find these precursor structures. Finding the uh, finding the alien containment facility is what's gonna. Oh, that's that's a weird graphical thing. I should I should report that. All right? It's weird, right? Uh, it's a bug. Graphical overlay bug. Smiley face. Yeah, because when I, when I get to the warper room, where I can scan warpers and stuff, that's when my hands get all pustuly, right? The infection becomes super active, and the, uh, the warpers will want to wanna hurt my feelings. Not excited for it, but, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Alright. See if we can't figure this place out. Yeah. <laughs> this this was so much easier once I kinda of figured out where to go and what I needed, you know, to do. Just trying to ram through the ghost Leviathan did not work out well at all. And in retrospect, it was a bad idea. It was a bad plan. I'll just muscle through them. No, no. Alright, that's where I came in at. Alright, there's nothing over there. There is something over there. And there's something up there. Alright. Okay, so this is the precursor area, it looks like. Or I guess it could be either. Cause they're they're both precursor things, bases. That was that was ignorant of me to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is our this is our containment facility. Are there warper buddies here? This alien structure appears to have yeah, there collapsed is. to the sea floor. Huh. There's more offshoots in here. More bones. That was you. Okay. Now, was this? That's right. There's a way in down here too, isn't there? I'm gonna go look at those alcoves up top. Just check. Just get a lay of the land. Oh, they're phasing through the walls. A bunch of warpers to be mean to me. Exciting. <laughs> All right. Nothing up here. Just big open, big 
Big open areas filled with nothing. Oh, of course it's fine. Which I haven't needed in a while. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. Okay. Uh, let's see, K turn and get myself stuck. Yep. Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So let's, uh. I guess. I guess we'll go inside. I guess that's, that, that is really the next venture. Let's go inside. Do the stuff. Uh, I'm not I'm not looking forward to having to play with the Reapers. Or Reaper Warpers. They are my they are my least favorite aspect of this game. <laughs> because they don't they don't play fair. They are the least fair plan monsters in this game. Get a nice platform here. Hey. Hey. He's poisonous. Don't eat him. Alright. This is actually uh, where I blew up the prawn suit last time. I got too low to this ground and blew it up. <laughs> uh, and then after we'll explore, we'll go check that area out. Just double check, make sure that leads outside, which I think it does. And we'll go up a little bit. Just one warper hanging out. That would be good, I think. Great on power. Alright. Oh, and I should food up. Perfect. Milling it up. All right. Let's do this. Chasing me. Detecting an alien broadcast. Link wasted analysis reads. Caution. Hazardous materials and life forms contained within. And I didn't bring my artifacts. Dang it. Substantially reinforced. Indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Yeah, it did. That sea dragon got you. Come back out here real quick. Shut up. Like, I will fight you if you come at me, bruh. I totally forgot I needed my artifacts. I always forget about my artifacts. Welcome up. They're right, they're right here. Right there. Beep. Alright, take two. Stop it. I will fight you. I like my chances because you're just a dumb fish. All right. Integrating new PDA data. Uh. Okay. Let's hop in here. Small herbivore gamma. This entry seems to reference the common peeper. Shows no immunity to infection. Death commonly occurs within four days. Shows symptoms rem symptom remission on exposure to enzyme 42, but symptoms quickly reoccur. 
shows advanced learning behavior, shows some capacity to transmit enzymes to other specimens. Leviathan embryos. Adult specimen too large to study in containment. Egg specimens required from nesting site. Embryos show no signs of immunity. Death commonly occurs within three weeks. Small sample of eggs have been retained for continued high priority research on Leviathan hatching mechanisms. Large carnivore theta. Off-site lab established to study remains. Shows some potential for immunity to infection, but physical remains so far proved insufficient for full reconstruction. Unidentified Leviathan. This Leviathan species has been assigned designator C. Emperor. Bone samples from Emperor species specimens indicate some potential for Karar immunity. They changed how they spelled Karar. Single species captured for study at purpose-built containment facility constructed in volcanic region at depth 1.4 kilometers. Assessment. While it is unlikely that the emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data on how to build the vaccine. Yay. Except we find out he is still kept inside. Whoa. Alright. Get off scan on. Hey, egg. I want to put you in my lab. Put you in my fish tank. It's what I want to do. Oh. There you are. Oh! Is that normal? Is that supposed to be happening? Hey, big guy. You supposed to be in here? Being all weird? <laughs> Probably not. Alright. Damage report. Integrating new PDA data. Look at this big gross weirdo. I want to see this guy added to the game. Or nothing. A lot of bub kiss. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Yeah, I bet. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Yeah, give me a second. Let me scan this warper. Alright. I think that's everything? It's all our goodies? Alright. Do that self scan. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Ugh. Ugh. I am becoming a monster. Yay, now the warpers will hate me. I'm excited. Nothing in here, right? No. Okay. All right. Successful containment facility venture. Yeah. Thought he was coming after me. But I guess not. All right. So I guess we'll, uh, there he is. 
we'll pause the video here. We got we found our containment facility. We ventured into our containment facility. And uh yeah, things have been quiet. So we're gonna do some more exploration, I think. Uh we'll head down this way, see where this leads. I I think it's another way in, I don't remember. And then we have that other path from the uh Sea Dragon Remains room to explore. So we'll uh we'll do that in the next one. More Lost River. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. And we'll uh we'll see you in the next one. Uh goodbye.